Yeah, never buy the never buy the cheapest wine. It can be. When you head out to a restaurant, you might find wines on the menu costing upwards of $20 a glass. But a whole bottle of that same wine might only cost $20 in the store. So why the difference? And where do they get those numbers from? Hi, my name is Belinda Chang. I am a sommelier at large, and we are here at one of my absolute favorite places in New York City, the brand new Riddler Champagne Bar here in the West Village. And we're here to talk about wine. So how does a wine get its price in the first place? So wines, of course, are made from grapes. Grapes are grown in beautiful, idyllic places. So a big part of the price of a glass of wine or a bottle of wine is the real estate cost, just like our homes and our apartments. Is it a Napa wine? That's some pretty pricey real estate. Or is it a wine from a very small village, you know, maybe in South America and Chile? Those are the wines that you'll find probably on the bottom shelf of the bodega or your grocery store or in the wine shop. What is interesting though is the restaurant wineless price is often, well not often, pretty much always very different from the price at a retail store. So the difference in price between a bottle, the same bottle that you might buy at a retail store or your favorite shop or at a restaurant oftentimes is a two time difference. A great wine director in a restaurant who's running a wine program should be getting really cool stuff, stuff that maybe you can't get to drink at home. So that's a part of the cost. The other part of the cost is these bottles, these treasures that they have on these big wine lists are also going to be properly stored. They're gonna to come to your table at the perfect temperature. You're also gonna get a little story table side from the sommelier or the bar manager or the wine director or your server. You're gonna have beautiful glassware that you don't have to polish after the event when you're at home. And all the accoutrement and fun that can come with a really complete wine drinking experience. And now for a taste test. We tried three different Merlots from three different price points to see if we could actually taste a difference in the prices. Up first, the under $10 wine, which we bought for $5 at a pharmacy. So this is the Chateau Diana, which you can find at a very pleasant price, under $10, pretty much across the country. And this is something that was made kind of in a more industrial way. So there weren't little cute old ladies hand harvesting the grapes. There were machines shaking the vines to try to get all the grapes into the vat. But it's gonna make a wine that is technically correct and without any flaws. And you want to never order this on a wine list if you see it. People are always looking for great value on a wine list. And the little secret that I want to tell you is that the lowest price level on a wine list is where you find the worst value because it's generally marked up the highest yeah never buy the never buy the cheapest wine it can be yeah. it can be you never know so it's my opinion for you to never order the house red unless it's a wine program that you're very familiar with or a restaurant that you really really trust because in some cases that house red is how they're using up this kind of wine. <laughs> you want to see a label? I would never purchase something where they just say it's a Merlot and they don't say where it's from, what the vintage is, none of that. Mm. So pinky out if you want, that's optional. <laughs> and just get a little oxygen into the wine and then when you're ready, put your nose in. So a lot of folks like to do that little thing where they suck in a little bit of air to swish the wine all over your palate so it touches all the different parts of your mouth. Some people like to gurgle. You could do that too. At a wine tasting, no one would make fun of you. <laughs> so this is a really simple wine, and to be honest, um, it's definitely showing its price. So this has got, to me, quite a short finish. It just sort of gives its one shot, and then it's all over. But that's what you typically find in a wine at this price level. Next up, the $20 bottle of local wine. This is a great wine from Clos du Bois, and this is probably going to be in the under $20 range in the store and under $40 range in the restaurant. It is true that different wines will have different appearances and different aromas and different levels of complexity. If you put your nose into a wine and all you can smell is apricots, that's probably a base level wine. If you can smell apricots and spices and white florals and leather, you've got something that's a little higher in quality and probably cost as well. 
can smell the difference between it's really the different. Yeah. This one has what we call secondary character, which yeah. leads to a wine that tends to be a little more expensive. Nice slurp. <laughs> Thank you. I'm working on it. So, as we expected, this California Merlot is a little step up in quality. And after I swallow it, these flavors are kind of persisting a little bit in my mouth. Do you like it? It's good. Would like you pay for one. it? Yeah. This, <laughs> That's a really this, good, this good sign. One. This is delicious. So let's look at the appearance of these two wines because they're completely different. So if you look at the first wine on the right, it has a watery meniscus. And then if we look at wine number two, there's a lot more color variation. So the second wine in our left hand is the one that's a little more expensive and also shows the signs of bottle age. And now the luxury $250 bottle of wine. So we also have something super luxury on the bar counter today. So this is Chateau du Cru. It's a 1986. When you talk to someone in Bordeaux or in Champagne or some of these other legendary growing regions, they oftentimes tell you things like, our family's been in the wine business since 1600. So, so you'd find this in the store. I found it here in New York for $250. You could find it at a restaurant anywhere from 400, 500 and above, depending on what their philosophy philosophy is on marking up their bottles. You could also find this on a wine list for really great value. So we definitely see the maturity in the color and I can already smell it even though my nose is not in the glass. Giving it a little swirl, adding a little air. It's been stuck in that bottle since 1986. Oh. <laughs> Life is good, gang. <laughs> this is the experience you always want. I mean, it smells like cedar and tobacco and leather and a little bit of black truffle and maybe a mossy forest. Oh, wow. Right, so this is less about just fruit up front. There's a lot of other stuff going on. From, the, from this one to that one, it's so... Like, <laughs> it's legally. worlds. A lot of people think that that's kind of bogus, that there is no difference between inexpensive and expensive wines, but I think we did a great demonstration. You know, with wines, it's really, a lot of it is about the complexity and also the age-worthiness of the wine. This wine, I think, in a couple years is not gonna be so interesting, and this wine is gonna get more and more interesting over time. There are plenty of restaurants out there that allow BYO or bring your own bottle of wine, which I think is really fantastic. We love to host you and we love to show you what we think will be the most magical meal and experience. So we want you to drink wines that we think will be fantastic and really complement your experience and your meal at our restaurants. And we wanna put it all together in the beautiful glassware, decant into decanters, and give you all of the magic that we always experience when we're in wine Country, and when we're meeting these great winemakers and winery owners all over the world. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And ring the bell below. That way you're notified whenever we post a new video. Oh, I also want to start a charity where we teach all the actresses on TV how to properly hold a wine glass. Oh, yes. Scandal. Yeah, I want, like, scandal. I love Olivia Pope, but I really need her to hold a wine glass properly.